Hello, 10th graders. This is Ms. Natalie, your world history teacher for this year. I hope that you are doing well, safe, and sound. In this tutorial, I will explain the material that we are going to cover for the first week, okay? Now, of course, we always start our first weeks um, by introducing icebreakers. Right? We should break the ice. We can't just start with the material and shock all of you, right? So we're going to start with, with the icebreakers and we're going to spend two days working on icebreakers. So let's discuss the first day of this week. Now, usually, um, if you look at the VC page, um, there, there is, I would say, a specific um, chronological order for how the class or the lesson will be uh, put into or applied, I would say. Okay, so for the lesson objectives of this class, of this lesson, you'll be able to engage in interactive introductions to ensure sharing, of course, your names, interests, and backgrounds to create a welcoming atmosphere and build connections. You will also be able to acknowledge class rules and regulations, and this is highly important. And number three, you'll be able to participate in icebreaker games where you can share unique facts or experiences, sparking connections and celebrating individuality within the group. Okay, so let's um, elaborate upon these objectives. Now, as for the word wall, these are the essential, I would say, key terms that um, explain um, or set a good ground for the explanation of this lesson. Introduction, icebreaker activity, networking, team building, the warm up, open ended questions, communication skills, individuality, and cultural awareness. Now, of course, you're going to find these tutorials on the BC. Um, um, you can watch them just to have an idea uh, about the meaning of icebreakers and why are they important. Now, the interactive activity that we are going to work on for the first day of icebreakers is called Define, Rotate, Correct and refine okay so in other words um, you will define I will you will define specific key terms that I will provide you with in connection of course to history as a subject right you need to define these um, terms in groups um, and then these the each group uh, will actually go to the other group, check their work, and correct what is needed. And then we're going to have a discussion. Okay, we're going to elaborate upon that in class. Okay. Now, as for the next day of icebreakers, um, okay. We are going to focus on introducing prehistory as a reminder, of course, because um, if for this year we are going to focus, as I mentioned earlier or previously, on civilizations. So we're, we need to track the beginning of any civilization or any village, right? Um, so we're gonna start with prehistory, we're gonna focus on the Paleolithic Age and the Neolithic Age, or we can call the Paleolithic Age the Stone Age, right? So we're going to have an activity, uh, aside from the tutorials that you are going to watch, right? Um, here's the activity. So based on the videos provided, you're gonna watch the videos to, um, for you to acknowledge more information. Um, and this, these are the the instructions. You need to imagine that you are a time traveler who travels back to the Paleolithic Stone Age and the Neolithic Age. You need to create um, or draw essential items, figures, ideas, areas, features that represent the significance of the Paleolithic Stone Age and the Neolithic Age 
and then you will discuss the items produced and explain their significance with other groups. Okay. So in this class, we, you will set, I would say, a brief um, grounds for introducing um, prehistory. As for the third day of this week, we are going to review the Paleolithic Age and Neolithic Age, basically prehistory, and we are going to introduce the first lesson that we are going to, to cover, titled Civilization, Civilizations Emerged in Sumer, of course, part one. As for the lesson objectives, you will describe the skills and be beliefs that early modern people developed during the Old Stone Age. And this objective will be more of a review of, of prehistory. And then you will also be able to understand how the geography and environment influenced the development of civilizations in the Fertile Crescent. And we're going to explain that, of course. As for the world, the word wall, you have the Paleolithic Age and Neolithic Age, Mesopotamia, the Sumer civilization, Fertile Crescent, nomadic people, geography and environment, and we also have the interactive map. map. Sorry. Okay. Um, of course, you have you have two interactive, or sorry, two tutorials. That one of them talks about prehistory as a reminder, as a review and the other one talks about the area of the Fertile Crescent. And for each video, you're going to find an interactive activity under it. The first one we are going to review, the first activity that we are going to tackle, we are going to review prehistory information related to it, um, of course, and then we are going to move on to the second interactive activity, which includes an interactive map and some comprehension questions related to this map and these this interactive activity focuses on introducing the sumerian empire okay and its area just like the fertile crescent uh, how did they overcome uh, how did the sumerians overcome environmental challenges it also talks about ge the geography of uh, sumer okay now on the fourth day of this week, um, the main objectives, you will investigate how Sumerian government and religious beliefs contributed to their society's structure, decision-making, and religious practices through guided questions, just like comprehension questions, where you're going to research and answer the questions. Uh, number two, you will be able to acknowledge essential information about the Sumerian ziggurats and social classes. Um, and then build a connection between them through an engaging drawing activity so you understand the main purposes of constructing the ziggurats. As for the word wall, you have Mesopotamia, the Sumer civilization, Sumerian government, Sumerian religion, ziggurats, and Sumerian social classes. Of course, aside from the two tutorials set here, um, one of them talks about Sumerian civilization in general, um, and the other one talks about the Sumerian social classes or hierarchy. Um, as for the first interactive activity, interactive activity, we are going to explore the Sumerian government and religious views through critical, uh, critical thinking questions or comprehension questions, and then we're going to discuss them together after you do your research. Um, and then we're going to move on to uh, the second interactive activity. Uh, we are going to, uh, to be exploring ziggurats and social classes through drawings. Okay, and this will um, help you comprehend the connection between the two, the ziggurats and the social classes in the Sumerian society back in the time. So you have here the instructions, uh, the material needed for the interactive activity and um, some pictures that will aid uh, you through or while you are working on this activity. Okay, we're going to discuss this activity in details um, in class. Now, let's move on to the last day, the fifth day of the week. Um, 
you, for the main objectives, you will be able to present your drawings to showcase the interpla interplay sorry, between ziggurats and social classes, demonstrating a deeper understanding of their relationship in Sumerian society. So basically, in this day, you are going to present your work, aside from the other interactive activity that we are going to work on. Number two, you're going to explore the Sumerian legacy through comprehensive research, collaborative group work in diverse questions, on diverse questions and engaging class discussions to synthesize and analyze key concepts. As for the word wall, we have ziggurats, Sumerian social classes, Sumerian legacy, and under it, we have Sumerian writing cuneiform, monarchy and theocracy, technology and arts, astronomy and mathematics. Um, of course, you have, as usual, you have two tutorials. One talks about the, or provides information about the Sumerian ziggurats, and you have the first interactive activity uh, where you are going to present your work that you worked on in the previous class. Um, you're gonna, I'm going to give you three to five minutes for each group, of course, um, uh, and then I'm going to give you some time where we can discuss your work. Um, yeah, discuss your work. Anyways. Um, then the second tutorial talks about the writing system in ancient Mesopotamia, specific Suma, called cuneiform. And this tutorial explains the essential ideas and information in reference to cuneiform. And then you have the interactive activity um, where you explore the Sumerian legacy um, through interactive, the interactive gallery uh, analysis and synthesize. Um, so here you, in groups you are going to answer the questions below about Sumerian writing, astronomy and mathematics, technology and arts. Uh, the first, um, as you can see here, I provided you with a picture of cuneiform, uh, the dates, the, um, I would say that the equipment, the tools and other words that are related. You are going to work, work on this interactive gallery. Um, you are going to explain how the cuneiform writing allows Sumerians to communicate more effectively and create what we call the Sumerian legacy. Um, and then you're going to work on uh, comprehension questions like describe, determine relevance, compare, summarize, and synthesize sorry, um, the information needed. Um, that is it for this week. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.